Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to Medieval Dynasty. We are in the depths of winter. Listen. Oh, am I cold? Oh, I'm cold too. Oh, I'm going to stand by the fire. Maybe that'll warm me up. That's probably why everybody else is over here. What have you got there? Oh, a pear. Where did you get a pear? <laughs> Anyways, it's very cold. Um, Yeah, you know what? I need to do something about this. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a quick... Well, do I want to? Or is this going to be a temporary thing? Let's just check on something. What do I have in the way of clothing? I just have my shirt, which is plus 10... Um, well, minus 10 cold protection. <laughs> it's less than... It's plus five. It's uh, my current out uh, is better, right? So if we take a look at what I'm wearing, my tunic is plus 15, right? So this is plus five. So it's 10% worse. The shoes. Oh, my current shoes. Am I not wearing shoes? Oh, wait a minute. When did I stop wearing shoes? Uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> that might help with my cold protection, though. That gives me another 5%. Uh, 5%. Now, is there... Oh, boots! I sold the boots. The boots... Were those my boots? Wait a minute. Okay. Well, you know what? Uh, I don't have any other clothes. That's fine. I've got my shoes. Uh, that should be okay. Let's take a look at what we have in here. We don't have anything. You know, I'm curious. What can we make in the sewing hut? Is there anything that I need to warm up? I understand. It is winter, after all. Is there any... Feet-related things, shoes, boots, oh. There's fur shoes. Now, they're going to cost me 300 and they get they take fur and leather. We could make those. Uh, there's fur boots. Oh, I don't have enough production technology for that. Uh, yeah, I can't do that. Now, I could do simple shoes, boots. Uh, no, I couldn't. No production. Okay. So, essentially, what I would need to do is... I would need to get, uh, I, you know what, I'm going to make myself some fur shoes to increase, because we're going to go out hunting today, and I can't be freezing, freezing to death, so we're going to buy that, and what do I need? I need uh, 10 fur and 8 leather. Okay, let's go get 10 fur and 8 leather. Now, I could probably make a few other things, but I don't want to spend the money, and I think um, the shoes would be maybe uh, somewhat helpful, especially if they're they've got fur. You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to grab... Ooh, we don't have a lot of leather. I'm going to grab uh, 20 of you and uh, 40 of you. Why? Because, I don't know. We're just we're just grabbing random crap. So, yeah. <laughs> Whoops. Um, I'm curious about, yeah, just in case there's something else we want to make. So I'm just grabbing a reasonable amount of each. Uh, let's see. Boots. Uh, we could make these. So, I could make two, but I think let's just make one for now. I, I do worry about my people, by the way. See, I've got nice gloves on. Um, I worry about my people, but I can't do anything about their clothing situation. All right, let's see what that did. If we go into uh, clothing, uh, my fur shoes give me plus 15. Oh, they're 20% protection. All right, cool. So I'm wearing my fur shoes. Now, is that going to help? Can I be out and about? Hopefully. Now, the other thing I could do is I could make um, maybe some some fur gloves or something like that. Or, well, let's take another boo at what I've got. I do have a tunic. I don't... Oh, I have a fur hood. Now, the fur hood gives me plus 25% cold protection, which is pretty good. Um, got fur shoes. So, what about pants? Is there anything... Hang on a sec. What are my current pants? They're hose. They only give you 5%. So is there any pants that look trousers with cuffs? It's going to cost 250 linen fabric. I don't have that right now. Yeah, we don't have, you know, we could make some, but we don't have a lot of linen thread. Well, we could do it. Um, should we do it? Should I make some trousers with cuffs or just trousers? Linen fabric, linen thread. The problem is I don't know what they're... Oh, oh, it says down below. Uh, plus 15% cold protection. Oh. Oh, so the joined hose is even better, but I don't have wool. So we could do trousers with cuffs. What else could we do? We could make gloves. 
the gloves uh, would only give me a marginal improvement. Uh, it's basically uh, 10, it gives a plus 10%, but I think my current gloves are only, I think they're 5%, maybe? Let's take a look. Uh, plus 10%, so no real improvement. All right, well, pants, shirts. So the linen shirt is plus 10. No, it's not, that's not enough. Tunics. Is there a, f oh, a quilted vest. Yeah, no production, production. I can't make any of this stuff because I don't know how, I, I don't have enough production yet. Uh, hoods, I already have a, uh, f uh, f wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, what am I wearing? It's a fur hood, right. I wear, I'm wearing a fur hood, right? So if I go into, uh, fur hood gives me plus 25. This is plus 20. It's, I've got the best, oh, okay, I could get a long fur hood, but... No, I don't have the production uh, ability for that either. So uh, my best bet would be to make some gloves, some thick leather gloves. Um, they give me, well, no, actually what it was, was it was pants, wasn't it? Trousers with cuffs or trousers plus 15. Yeah, it's going to cost me 250. You know, I'm going to see if what I have right now is going to be good enough. And then if it isn't, then I'm going to upgrade. So we're going to be uh, just cruising around outside and we'll find out if this is an issue because there is one more thing that I would like to do. So we're going to put that away. And for that, for what I'd like to do, okay, we're going to grab the copper arrows and I'm going to grab the, well, we have eight copper bars. You know what? Let's just, let's just make some anyways, just for the experience. No, 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 not that. I want the ore. Let's grab 20-ish. There we go. And then I'm going to want sticks. Let's see, where's the sticks? 92. We're not doing too bad in sticks. I'm just going to grab, I don't know, 40. And I'm going to grab some feathers. I think you can see where I'm going with this. Uh, I'm pretty sure that it's basically copper arrows are, are essentially the same as... Um, well, they're like stone arrows, except they have copper heads. So I'm assuming that the rest of the recipe is pretty similar. Uh, all right, let's make some uh, copper bars. Because we haven't done this yet. I want to do this. Uh, let's make 10 copper bars. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Besides, it's a cold day. Uh, look at this. This is nice and warm in the forge. It doesn't have any walls, but uh, I have to imagine that this giant heat source does provide at least some comfort. And warm. Uh, while we're doing this, actually, this isn't going to take long at all. So I was going to do. Let me tell you what the plan is. Yeah, look, we're already done. Okay. Now, where would if I were arrows? Uh, these are all wood, stone. No. Oh, I need to. Madarika, can How I? Are you? Hi. Can I? Um, can you move a little? Or farewell. Goodbye. All right. No, you're done. Okay. Um, let's see. What we got copper tools. Nice. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We probably should look into that. Copper, copper weapons. Oh, I need to unlock them. I, well, you know, I kind of suspected that was the case. So let's buy the copper arrows and let, we could make 40 of them. Should we just make 40 or should we make uh, 20? I think let's just make 20. Let's not, um, let's not go crazy here. Ooh, is that it? Wow, that's quick. <laughs> now, what else can we make? Um, my knife, if I remember correctly, is copper, but it is dying. Uh, no, it died. It died. My copper knife died, and I'm now back down to using a stone knife. So let's see. If I wanted to make a copper knife, I'd probably have to buy it. Oh, boy. And it takes two. It takes one stick and two copper bars. Costs 150. That's the schema. Oh my goodness. But we've got other things we could make too. Copper shovel, copper axe, copper hammer. Interesting. Now, what if we wanted to make bronze stuff, bronze tools? So a bronze knife is, I don't have the technology. Okay, we'd need to do a bit more work to get to the bronze age apparently. And then iron, we'd probably need to do even more. 5,000 production, yeah. 
Okay, so we're basically in the... Uh, oh, wow, an iron crossbow. Is there a uh, bronze crossbow? No, there is not. Is And there's no copper crossbow. Okay. So we can make copper arrows. I think I'm going to learn how to make a copper knife. And there's two reasons for that. Um, so I'm spending my some of my money. Yeah, we're down to 992. We're still okay, uh, but there's a reason why. And then what we're going to do is we're going to make three of them. And, th and the reason is because I want to put two of them in storage for my hunter. Over, I, overnight, I did some review of, you know, what tools I have available. Apparently, my smithy can't keep up with the knife consumption of my hunter. My hunter was out of knives. She's she's spending 20% of her time making knives, and, and the hunter's going through them. It has to be because they're stone, so they're kind of crappy and they don't last very long. So I thought what I would do is I would, well, at least take a look at how much... 110. Ooh, I might just sell them instead. If we take a look, I don't know if I want to sell them, but uh, I, I, she's okay for now because I made uh, like about 20 or so uh, stone knives overnight and she's using one of them. So, and that appears to be the only thing that's giving us a, a trouble. We, we're keeping up with stone axes. We're keeping up with wooden hammers um, and all of that other business. So I think we're in good shape. So anyways, Right now, we have copper arrows, and this is what I want for hunting. So we're going to do that, um, which means that my bow is now active. Now, if I wanted to, can I make copper bolts? I, I didn't look that closely. Copper bolts. Uh, it's another hundred to unlock copper bolts. Do I want to do copper bolts just for... Oh, you know what? We're just going to do it. No, we're not going to do it. No, that's foolishness. No, we've got a bow. The bow does tons of damage. Oh my goodness, I have to service these guys again. Hey, guys. Uh, there we go. And let's do you. Uh, I did these, like, I've been doing these kind of overnight now uh, quite a bit. Uh, just to review, uh, I am wearing uh, basically all my good winter stuff. And I'm going to put my shoes away in, in, my, in the house. Uh, everybody else should be working, I think. Uh, oh, oh, I have good news. Oh, I, I, another thing I, I, I looked around and I, there's another thing that I noticed. Uh, oh, and the other thing here. Let's put away the... Um, no, we'll wash in a second. But I'm going to put away the, uh, the materials that I have on me for manufacturing. Whatever I've got left over. So we've got feathers, fur, and uh, sticks. There we go. Um, <clears throat> apparently, if we take a look in the uh, management, in the pig sty, um, the pigs are producing... Let's see. Uh, farming? No. Animal husbandry? Yes. Uh, the pigs are producing 60 manure per day. <laughs> and so that means I've got somebody working in the uh, barn right now. We're actually producing fertilizer. We are producing fertilizer. Oh, did they do this? Did, did they do the... Yes, this is what I wanted. This is the, the carrots field. Um, if we take a look, I know I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get as much as I can done right now because we have to head out. So carrots, I only wanted 15 and it is planted and we're good. Um, I don't want to plant too much more because spring is coming and I'm going to need a lot of fertilizer for that. Ooh. Now, before the end of... Uh, well, we'll get to that. Uh, I think what we need to do now is go on a hunt. So we're going to go after moose and wisent. Now, there's a f I got a few tips about where to go. I'm going to wash myself so that I'm not too stinky. Apparently, um, if the animals can smell you, they can, uh, they'll, they'll run from you a little bit more. All right, let's go. We're going to go hunt some Wizent. Uh, she's working. You know what? Let's have both of the uh, the farm people, or the barn people, working. Uh, Radost right now is a farmer. What's he doing? Is he just hanging out? Yeah, there he is. Okay, so Radost, uh, let's have you. Uh, okay, un remove, assign... Radost as a barn worker. There we go. 
because he's he's done his farm duties so now they can just uh, work on other things but look at that rudolphina is already level four nice she's super awesome oh and also the pigs look at the pigs baldwina honey you've done an amazing yeah hi you've done such a good job you are an amazing uh keeper of the pigs and stuff like that look at how look at how oh you okay Oh, man, I hate it when they sneeze. Um, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at him. Brr, I'm a big old hog. <laughs> and then we've got a sow over here. Eh, a female pig. Hey, how you doing? Oh, I'm doing just fine. <laughs> so with the, our two pigs are um, producing manure, and they're looking pretty amazing. And that is a... What? Is, a, is that a beaver? No, that is a uh, badger. What is that? <gasps> There's a moose over there. Okay. Nope. All right. Now. There we go. Do we have our copper arrows? Okay. Let's see if we can sneak, sneak. I know we're sneaking in from the front. Oh, okay. Oh, headshot. Oh, no, no, I didn't mean to do that second shot. Um, let's see if we can get two. Oh! No, I don't know if we hit that one. Okay, where's our, our copper arrow that we... Oh, it's probably way off in the distance. Okay. Let's run down the two moose. There's one over here. Let's see where that moose goes. Where are you going? And there's the other moose. Okay, let's just... We're just going to sneak in. Hopefully, are we going to be able to sneak up to this moose a little bit? I think I missed. Oh. Copper arrow. Oh, we found our copper arrow. There it is right there. Okay. Man. Okay, where did they go? They went this way? Oh, I thought that was a... I thought that was a, a, a moose body right there. Oh, nope. That's a deer. I'm not... We're not we're, I think that's the moose over there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, there's the both the, the male and the female moose. Let's see if we can... Oh! <laughs> Let's see if we can get this one. Oh, we got him yes i must have missed the oh the copper arrow <laughs> okay 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 all right let's get this let's get this moose and this is actually going to okay we we actually got our our, our thing but you know what i don't want to leave a half injured moose so i do want to finish what i started which is let's see if we can finish this moose off i don't want to make anybody is that you Oh no, that's not you. It's it must be this one over here. Yeah, the one that's running away. Okay, yeah, that would be that would make sense. Okay, can we Is that moose being chased? Or is it running from me? The not the is the badger running from me? Okay. Let's see. Oh, are you still bleeding out? Wow. Yeah, she is. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. She's calmed down. She's calmed down. Oh, no. She spotted me. All right. Let's see if we can... 
Yeah, that's her. Okay. Nope. Wow, she's leading me on quite the merry chase, isn't she? Can I sneak now? No? Holy moly. Come on. Oh, is she still bleeding? I think she's still bleeding. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. So this is a bit more challenging than I thought. Okay. We're out of sight, kind of. Let's see if we can. Why is she not stopping? I'm way out of range. Wow, look how far she goes. Okay, well, we have to go get Wizen. This is, you know what? This is getting a little silly. She's still running. She's still running. I, I, I don't think I can do anything about this. And bleeding by the looks of it. So I think that, that that moose is permanently running and I have I don't have all day, so I am not going to go after the that moose. That's just no. No. Alright, so the next thing we want is Wisent. So, you know, farewell moose. Am I stinky or something? Seven percent. Not too bad. Um I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go across the river. I know there's Wisent over there. Uh if I go through the river, I wanna see if that causes me any problems. I suspect it will, but uh, I'm just going to do it anyways. And if we run into any trouble, oh, I'm not I'm not freezing to death. Okay, this is a good uh, this is a good sign. <laughs> I am getting tired, <laughs> but I'm not freezing to death. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Hunting in the depth of winter. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, this is really funny. Okay, now, uh, I do have to keep an eye out for uh, bandits, don't I? All right, now, if I remember correctly, where we're going to go is we're going to go to uh, to Tutki. And Tutki is uh, kind of up here. But I do know there's Wysant. Uh, uh, in this general area because I've spotted them before and I think that I think this is a good idea oh, oh, oh. is there anything here oh planks oh yeah I'll grab you any other oh, what is that that's just a bo broken piece of wheel okay I don't think there's anything else here that's fine that's boogie and uh, see if we can find some wisent now most likely did I clean myself up by the way when I went through the water I did good uh, and how many arrows do we have left? Um, copper arrows, 32. Okay, that's good. That's good. So we've we've wasted some. That's all right. Um, I just, it's about time management as well. I just don't have, uh, I have three day seasons. I can't spend too long sort of just chasing one single animal or scouring the area for arrows. There's a pig. I mean, we could just hunt this pig. See how it does with the bow. Copper arrows. Really? Okay. Did I miss you the first time? I did. Oh, okay. All right. I wonder what I hit. Let's get the boar. Now, oh, that's sometimes the boars travel in packs. This could be a bad scene. Uh, nope, not a bad scene. Okay. And I am now only 2% filth. Excellent. But we do need... There's a boar there. We're going to leave that boar alone. We do need Wysent. And Wysent... Uh, why are we going... There's one. Why are we going to Tutki? 
Uh, we're going to Tutki because... Um, oh, and there's... Oh, hey, there's moose over here, too. Yeah, somebody said I should probably just come over here. Yeah, they were right. <laughs> All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going we're gonna to save because these things freak me out just a little bit. And then we're going to go and see what we can do about this bison. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! Okay, no, no, no. Oh! No, 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 no! <laughs> Bad scene! Bad scene! Oh, I'm in trouble! Oh, okay. I lost a copper arrow, but I'm also losing my health. Okay, okay. Um, no. Oh man, these things just don't work like they used to. I should have... Here, can we eat some food as well? Does that help our health? No, it doesn't. Oh boy. All right, so we got to figure out which bison we, uh, we tangled with. Oh. Now, the, the bison that we tangled with is, it ran away because we injured it. That's not it, right? It's, it's another one. Where did it go? Sorry, bison, not bison. I mean, it is, a, yeah. Uh, European bison, I think it is. Where did the bison go? You know what? I should be looking for blood stains. I don't have the ability to track. Wait a minute. No. I don't have the ability to track animals yet. And this is a bit of a problem. But it's not that bison, is it? I might have to continue this another day. Oh, it is! Oh, it's in trouble. I can help with that. Okay, let's follow it. There's a camp right there. Uh oh. Oh! <laughs> Oh, 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 give me my arrow. <laughs> Any more arrow? <laughs> I, there's more copper arrows. Hopefully I'm going to get them back when I harvest this wison. Oh my goodness. Oh, that was, that was uh, quite the battle. <laughs> oh, okay, let's go see what's over here. There's no people, so that's good. But there's like a little camp here. Stones and there's some firewood. Excellent. I got to watch out for my weight, of course, my carry limit. Is there, what was it, what, sticks? No, we don't care about sticks. There's a, a torch, 72%. Oh, for crying out loud, fine, I'll pick up your sticks. There. What else is there? What is that? Nothing? <gasps> There's a, a, a flat straw hat. <laughs> you grab the stick as well. I don't see anything else in here. Okay. And I don't see anything under here. And is there anything else in the immediate area? I can't light up that fire, but I do have to get back. So, unfortunately, that wasn't very exciting as far as the, uh, the, the camp was concerned. I need to get home, though. So we're going to head... Um, we're already near Tutki. Let's go to Tutki. It's that way. It's that way. Okay. Um, and I'm not going to light a torch because, yeah. Oh, although, uh, if I run into wolves, that this might help me out. So, hey, hello. Hello, deer. <laughs> Don't mind me. Just some crazy guy running through the bush with a torch. We need to recruit people. And uh, so that's the reason why I wanted to go to Tutki. And I thought, hey, hey, hey there, rabbits. I almost said chickens. 
that? Was that the sound of the rabbit? Interesting. Uh, how dirty am I? 8%. We're reasonably dirty, but not too bad. And we're going to come over here to Tutki and see if there's anybody that might want to join us. <laughs> donkeys. I love donkeys. Okay, so we've got Batilda and we've got Radamira. Oh. Okay. And now these folks are the locals and these folks are the uh, recruitables. Let's see what we're dealing with. So Radamira, you are threes in farming and hunting, two in an extraction, and you are not really that great. Okay, but we're gonna get Radamira. How can I help you? Um, let's, let's, you know what? Let's find out something about her. Uh, what's on your mind? Most of my life, I've spent it in this valley. I wonder what lies beyond the mountain ridge, but my caution tells me that curiosity killed the cat. Mm, so she, you're, you're a prudent and cautious individual. Uh, how's your day going? What winter is not so bad? Look at the bright side. There's less field work, and you spend more time in your warm and cozy home. It's the season for long stories and conversations by the fire. You know what? You know, okay, sure, okay. Could you tell me something about your skills? Field work tires me a bit, but it's the, been a thing in my family for generations. That's why I have a natural knack for farming, and I'm very good at it. Well, there you go. And does anything give you a hard time? Um, I'm the person who always falls for a lie. Oh, so she's gullible. Never tell when someone's joking. Naive. Yeah. Okay. Um, and... Have a good day. You are, as I say, farming and hunting. So, you know what? We, we can always use How are you? farmers. And so I think that, uh, welcome to the team. Okay. Ha ha! New villager! Oh, by the way, the, uh, it, the goal for chapter nine, uh, if you look at the upper right-hand corner there, is... Uh, village inhabitants, 9 out of 10. So we need to recruit more for our, our uh, skills anyways, or our, our quest line. So if we take a look at management, we have Radamira here, and we can assign her to one of our empty houses. So uh, Radomira, Radomira, there we go, and assign Radomira. So she has a place to live now. So hopefully that's going to okay. Give her, give that a moment to register. Um, Radomira is now happy because she has a place to live, and we need to give her a job. So she is both uh, hunting and farming. I think it. I mean, she can do either. Um, apparently, she she wants to farm now. Are other farmers really their farmers? Okay, but she can also hunt but i think that maybe we should probably have her in farming and i need someone well uh there's i'll need someone who can work with the um the goose house because i want to make the goose house and so she could actually do that as well as uh work the farm so but i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to have her work in the in the the barn for now and I'm just going to place her in as a uh, barn worker. So Radamira can be a barn worker for now. There we go. Now, the hunt hunting, I think I can only have one person, right? Um, there we go. Hunting. The hunting lodge. Oh, there's an empty slot. I could double up hunters. What I want is to increase my leather production. We've got a lot of fur. Not a lot of leather. I think because we're using uh, a lot of leather. So I'm going to drop that a bit and increase that a little bit more. And meat is 48%. Right now we're producing a lot of meat. So maybe what I'll do is drop that down, bring that up to 25, bring that up to 15. Feathers were doing really well. Leather we were not. So I'm going to bring that up to 30. Um, we could put her in far uh, farming but or uh, hunting, but... I don't know. I don't know. I think we're doing good with food and stuff like that right now. So maybe leather. We could do with more leather. All right. So my situation, it is, well, I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to head out to, uh, we're going to head to the one of the Ranicas. And we're just going to do it at night. 
and then when I get there, we're going to probably build a little campfire. And, uh, and then basically uh, sleep till morning. Um, I'm going to put a torch out because... The 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 uh, woods at night is dark and scary, <laughs> and there's things with teeth in the middle of the night. They can get you. Ooh! <laughs> I don't remember there being wolves on the way to uh, the ra one of the Ranicas. Oh, hey, there's a. Nope. We're just gonna go as the crow flies. Um, I do need to. Oh, what is that? Whatever it is, it's running away from me. Oh, and the town is like literally right over here. You know, we could just speak to people. Uh, here. Why, hello there, everybody. <laughs> Would you like to join my team? Uh, let's see what we're dealing with. So we've got Isbor and Frederick. Uh, oh, he's a level three crafts person. And... Isbor is extraction. Okay. And Hail friend. 30. All right. You know what? I'll bet you you would one of my I have some nice ladies who I think would just quite like you. So, um let's do some small talk here. Uh what's on your mind? Um I of often visit the stump that provided the first log for the construction of my house. I have recently noticed a fresh sprout next to the cut down cut down tree. Nature is truly tenacious. Wait a minute. Where's your house? I thought you were unemployed and looking for a place to live. Um uh how's your day going? Snowy landscape can be charming, they say. Sin <laughs> sure it's until you step out the door of your warm house only to freeze to death. You will find me one day turn into a block of ice. Well, he's a cherry sort. Um, can you tell me something about your skills? I've always liked to sink into a long and thrilling conversations. Others seem to appreciate my stories. Okay, so he's a diplomat. He's got three in diplomacy as well as crafting. Um, and does anything give you a hard time? Uh, sense of direction. Uh, my basket can be full of mushrooms and herbs, but in the end, I have a hard time finding my way home. Okay. Uh, farewell. You know what? See you soon. Um, we're probably going to grab him. In fact, I think we will. Let's see what we're dealing with as far as as um, as our people are concerned. Uh, let's see. We have a, a few houses that have only one person in them. Uh, let's see. Nawoya is... She's 31, so she would be an ideal. And she's an extraction person, too. Oh, you know what? Oh, he's not in distraction. No, he's he's crafting. Okay, okay. Um, what was I? Who else do we have? I, the only person that we have here. Let me let me do this the easy way, which is Rudolfina is the only one that is actually uh, paired up, and so all the other ladies are not well, except for of course Baldwina, are paired up, and so what we can do is we can just not Baldwina. And then not Rudolfina, right? So uh, Radomira and Nawoya and Metarika, our blacksmith, is also a craftsperson and a diplomat. They're very similar. Oh. Okay, you know what? Um. Yeah, Metarika. Metarika, I bet she she oh she'd like Met Frederick. Um, I'm creating a new settlement. I'm looking for good people to join me. Great, see you there. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh! There we go. We've uh, hit chapter 10, have an heir. So we're going to talk to Baldwina about that. Um, but in the meantime, Frederick needs a place to live. Uh, so we're going to assign a work... Well, we're also going to assign a workplace. But for now, there's nothing I can really assign him. Well, let's just let's hold off on that. Let's hold off on that. Let's get him a home first. And he, it was Medarika that I wanted to assign him. You know what? Here, I'm going to do this differently. I'm going to go to Medarika's house. Make sure that it is Medarika, that I labeled that correctly. And now I'm going to assign our new Frederick. There we go. Nice. And they're not too far apart in age, so that should be that should work out well. Okay, now 
as far as uh, production is concerned, the smithy can only take one person. That's fine. There's the workshop. Uh, I could put him in the workshop for now. But I have a different plan for Frederick and Mederica. And we're going to make him into a, a craftsman. There we go. But I have a different plan for him. All right. We still, we can still um, hire a few people. You know what? We're just going to do this at night because why not? I'm not. Oh, come on. Over you go. All right. Let's go to the other Ranica. That way. Okay. It's not too far. Uh, I think I have a uh, campfire somewhere out there, but they, it's one of the crappy campfires, and I'm pretty sure it died some time ago. Um, now, I could get some water here at this stream. Let's have a little drink. Wish I could wash myself, but I'm for how am I doing? 12%. Ooh, we're getting kind of dirty. Well, they're just going to have to live with my filth and not... Uh, I'm going to have to be charming in spite of my uh, scruffy, uh, out, uh, what was it, scruffy nerf herder? Or no, <laughs> scruffy outdoor appearance. Yes, hello! <laughs> uh, nice to see you too. Okay. That's right, I'm going to come in the middle of the night. Oh, there's only one. Okay, okay. And it's another dude. It's uh, Prisvit. Prisvit. Okay. Um, what are we dealing with here? <gasps> a three in farming and a three in crafting. Oh, we're starting to get half decent guys. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> what, what, is, what, what magic is this? Okay, so. Not treating you. Uh, it, oh, sneeze. Okay. Um, small talk. Uh, how's your, what's in your mind? Um, I know it's necessary for survival. However, cutting forests and plowing meadows always makes me sad. We've, right, um. We've, we've had this one before. We have somebody else who ha feels similarly. Uh, how's your day going? Uh, snowy landscape can be charming, they say. Sure, it's until you step out the door. We've heard that before. And then, uh, could you tell me something about your skills? A fine craftsman knows how to cook his food well. Uh, you know what they say. Another person's heart... Uh, oh, through his stomach. Oh, oh he, he's a cook. Oh, well, that kind of ruins my plans. I had... I was going to make Frederick the cook. But, well, we'll have to... We'll see what we can come up with. Uh, does anything give you a hard time? Um, don't get along with other people. They see me, see me as boring. It's because I only talk about things that interest me. Honestly, it's them who are dull. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, Beryl. He's 19. Hey, I think we want him. But let's see if there's anybody that we can pair him up with before. Um, most of my people are a little older. Except for Baldwina. But no, can't have Baldwina. Um... Who is not paired up? So, Nawoya and Lamberta. Nawoya and Lamberta. Lamberta's 31 and Nawoya's 31. I've heard that there there isn't a big deal with age differences anymore. Um, but, oh, that's a little bit of a long reach. Uh, we still have an empty house. Hmm. Now, the other thing I've heard is that if I have a dude in a house, can I, can I assign a woman to the house? I don't know if I can. You know what? We might just have to make do. He's a, he's a good, I think he's a, a good match for the village. He seems like uh, he's a young fella and he's got uh, multiple threes in good things, farming and crafting. So... All right. How, you? How about um, come with me? <laughs> oh, new villager, Prisvit. Okay, so uh, we're going to assign him. You know what? We could see. We could see how he does with uh, either Lamberta or Nawoya. Now, who do we? Th who's who's? Young? They're both the same, aren't they? Lamberta and Nawoya. Lamberta is extraction and Lamberta. Oh, she's my huntress. You know, yeah, I think maybe, he, you know what? I bet you she would like a, she seems very, she seems like she might like a nice strong uh, lad <laughs> about the house. <laughs> Lamberta. Here, let's, 
There we go. <laughs> and now we need to give you a... Oh, no. Um, there we go. Oh, you can... Oh, he's he's on watch. All right. Um, let's see what we can do here about work for you. Now, he is, if I remember correctly, just one... Let's just make sure. Like, he's capable of both uh, crafting and... No, uh, um, no, 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 no. Prisvet, there we go. That's what I thought so. Okay. Uh, crafting and farming. Now, the barn, we could put him in the barn for now. And just, yeah, let's just put him in the barn for now. Uh, we can move him to something else later. Uh, we don't have enough other work. Oh, well, there is the workshop. We put Frederick in the workshop, didn't we? Okay. Well, then the barn. Oh, we yet yeah, we have one slot. There we go. We can make him an, another barn worker. There we go. All right, cool. Um, we're gonna need we're gonna need lots of farm related people. So, uh, I'm I'm good with that. All right. <laughs> I'm going to. I think what I'm gonna do is I am going to. Well, you know what we could do. Um. There is one thing I wanted to take care of. How do I want to handle this? Let's see. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to head back to the village. And, uh, yeah. I'm going to head back to the village. It's not far. It's, like, literally right down here. And, uh, I think this is good. Oh, he's already, he's, he's already hoofing it down there. I'll just, you know, go alongside him. Besides, I, I was going to spend the night up here. I was going to make a campfire and spend the night. But, uh... I find that it's easier to spot the uh, bandits in the night if you are if you're cruising. Oh, that's him. Oh, okay. Do you need cabbage here? I'll tell you what. Why don't you have some cabbage? That'll make you feel better. Yeah, I knew it would. It'll do wonders for you, my boy. Okay, let's head on out. <laughs> So we've managed to recruit, what, three people? Oh, that's so cool. So what it is that I need to do now, uh, what do I want to do? What's my, like, why do I need all these people? Well, for one thing, we need, we just need people because we always need more people to get the, all the work done that needs to be done. Um, but the second reason is because I want to build a kitchen, okay? And I want to build the goose house. So I need farm people and production people. And you always need farm and production people, whether it be crafting, whatever crafting it may be. Cooking is crafting, right? Oh, they let the fire go out. Guys. Oh, you know what? Before I go to bed. Oh my goodness. Okay, fine. Let's just, let's do the rabbit trap. Let's do the, oh, and we needed to make a new bird trap. Do I have stuff on me? No, nope, that's not right. Uh, oh, I do. I do. I picked up some stones. Right. Okay. How's the firewood situation? I've been keeping a real close eye on the firewood. 52. Okay. So they're, they're burning it fairly quickly. Um, and we, but we've got the logs, but I'm the one making, look at that. We've got 85 manure. We have 29 fertilizer and I have a plan. Okay. We've got plenty of straw, too. Uh, now, we have oat grain and... Do we have rye grain? We don't. I need to... Um, I need to get uh, animal feed because we're getting low on animal feed for the pigs. So that's, that's kind of what I need to do in the future. I need to get animal feed. I need to get the goose house. I need to get the, the kitchen. And then I have something else I want to do. But we're going to do it in the morning, I think. Uh, they've got firewood to get through the night. It'll be fine. I just wanted to make sure nobody, you know, got cold tonight and stuff like that. I could make some uh, firewood, but I'm going to go to... I'm going to wash myself up because I don't want Baldwina. Um, you know, getting upset with me. Uh, hey, uh... Oh. How can I help you? Oh, I appreciate that. Oh, you look wounded. Here's something for the pain. <gasps> Thank you. Oh, 
Oh. Um. Here, let me uh, put this torch out. Or I think we're ready to have a child. What do you think? Uh, you know what? I agree. We are ready. Come see me at our house after 7 p.m. Okay. Uh, it is after 7 p.m. Oh, okay. There we go. Be well, my love. Mood, 16%. Affection, 100%. Goodbye. For some reason, uh, maybe it's because it's it's actually not supposed to be after 7. It's probably after 7, but before bedtime. <laughs> Oops. All right. But at least I'm clean. I'm going to go to I'm gonna go to sleep. There we go. Oh, no. Put the torch away. All right. Very cool. So, um, or, well, we won't talk about what happened in the middle of the night. I cut the, there was a big, uh, uh, big, big episode of, of things that happened and, oh, hey, it lit by itself. Excellent. Uh, anyways, I'm just kidding. I'm <laughs> just teasing. What do I want to do? Uh, before the end of winter, I need to accelerate the whole situation with food. So there's a little bit of a plan uh, for that. And it's something that was suggested to me. And I'm going to follow through on it. Um, decorations. I want to make a wash tub. For the wash tub, I need six planks. I have three. So we need to grab three more planks. Uh, planks. Okay, we've got 38. Wow, okay. Wow, we're doing really well with planks. That's fine, because we're going to end up using them. Don't you worry about that. And I want to put a, a wash tub right outside the, uh, the resource thing here. Because it, it, it has to be obvious. I have to see it, okay? Because uh, otherwise I'll, I'll, I'll mess up. Now, what it is that I want to put in there is the unripe berries, of which we have 20... I'm carrying too much, okay? Oh, I'm carrying... Whoa, I'm carrying way too much. All right, that's cool. That's cool. Oh, you know what? Put that away, that away, that away. Leather, sticks, stones. Oh, I, I got some more. Oh, wait a minute. What did I just put away? <gasps> uh, well, I'm going to pretend I don't know because I don't. Um, we're going to grab... Uh, well, we'll just grab half of the unripe berries because we, we're going to have to make two trips anyway, so we might as well just do two trips. Go and... Oh, hang on. What we want to do is we want to go here. And then we want to go X, E, F. Bonk. <laughs> so the whole point is that um, for me, I need the reminder. I need the reminder to, to make sure that I uh, check this because you this will, if you throw them out on the ground, it will like, it, they will rot faster. In fact, these will, they probably would have rotted before next season anyways because they were at 25%. But um, the problem is that I will forget there we go. I will forget. And uh, yeah, so that's a system that can help you remember to, you know, do that sort of thing. Now, condition. What we want is all the bad stuff. Okay, I'm going to grab you, you, a, a lot of berries. I'm overburdened again. Perfect. We're going to have so much fertilizer uh, from from rot in the, in the spring. It's going to be just obscene. Oh, look! Team! <laughs> Are those all the farming people? Did they just have a team meeting? And then when they saw me, they, <laughs> they, they, they went, Oh, we have to go and we have to do uh, busy. We have to be busy. Uh, we're going to drop you. We're going to drop you. And we're going to drop you. Bunka, bunka, bunka. Okay. Whoa! Oh, sorry, Noya. My apologies. And then let's see what else we can pull out of here. Uh, anything that is rotting or it's red because it can't be used anyways. Oh, I'm overburdened again. Do, 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 do. Hello, Noya. <laughs> do, 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 do. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, XEF, XEF. 
and F, X and F. Oh, 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 did something fall on the ground? The the whole nope, the, the cabbages. No. Nope. And let's see if you know we just do uh There we go. There we go. Everything else should be out. So this is the rot tub. <laughs> it's the rot tub. Uh, everything that I throw in there, I want it to rot. And uh, and then I'll remember to go in there and look at it uh, later. And there we go. In fact, we could probably throw the berries in there too. And we'll leave these cabbages. Oh, what the hey? Let's grab them. Because we have these cabbages over here. Uh, the carrots. Yeah, we'll leave the rest of them for now. Oh, ooh, I'm overburdened. Oh, so slow. <laughs> oh, so slow. All right, so while we're walking very slowly, um, I just wanted to say that uh, that was pretty cool. We managed to get the moose and we got the wisent. I'm really happy about that. I think the copper arrows worked out amazing. Um, let's see. Perfect. Everything's in there. Yes. Yes. The rot tub. <laughs> awesome. Oh, wait a minute. What am I still carrying? Oh, yeah. I had some other things that I that were not quite rotten. Uh, yeah, we want the berries in there and the cabbage. There we go. Perfect. Now, hopefully that's going to be that's going to give us, as I say, a lot of rot in the uh, when we go when we transition from uh, winter into into spring and then we'll be able to make a whole bunch of fertilizer oh i think we're doing really well now mostly my, i think my people are going to be in here not doing much oh actually they're working hard look at that oh well except for radost he's yeah yeah he doesn't really have anything he can yeah that's okay as long as right now it's more mostly make busy work right now because there's not really anything else for them to do but that's okay. It'll be fine in the future. Let's see. We've got uh, Frederick here making uh, things that, well, probably we're going to have way more cups and stuff than we need. Uh, we've got De De Labora who's actually doing productive work. What have I got De Labora doing exactly, by the way? Um, we could probably get her to make some interesting things. Uh, sewing hut... Simple bags and water skins. Now, the simple bags are good because we're going to need them. The farmers need them. We don't... Uh, this is going to be... In spring, this linen thread is going to be a big deal because we're going to have a whole bunch of flax. And then... Um, what else? Uh, linen fabric is... Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's not much else. Well, actually, you could make... Wait a minute. Isn't there something... Hang on a sec. Fur shoes. How about we take away a bit of your... Uh, let's just put... Let's take a look. So in, in about three days, um, we'll get a pair of fur shoes. So I think that's pretty well. I think that's fine. Yep, that'll do. And then we've got our hunter, who's probably hanging out in here. Seriously? Lamberto, what are you doing? How come you always look like you're not feeling good? You're just hanging out? <laughs> I know she's working because my, uh, everything get, the, the, the food thing gets filled with meat, like, all the time. And then Nawoya's doing good. Look at that. She's working hard. All right. I think this is a good place to stop. Uh, in the next one, we're going to go into day three of winter. And I'm going to build a kitchen and we're gonna build the the goose house is there anything else oh right there's one more thing hang on a minute let me see if how this works there we go there's our there's our friend rasmir and i can actually use the mouse people i keep forgetting to do the p key now can i actually move around oh, i can actually uh <laughs> oh, 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 oh. now i'm not a third person player but look at my uh, look at my i got my hood and I've got my, uh, you know, yeah, it's really cool. And I can get my bow out and then I can. <laughs> Look at that. Fine looking gentleman. Let's see. We've got our, 
We've got our axe. And we've got... Oh, we don't have a hammer. What have we got? Oh, the crossbow. Oh, the thing's actually bigger than it. Man, that's actually bigger than I thought it was. Uh, what else we got? We've got, a, we've got our, our mighty shovel. And I don't think we have anything else right now. Maybe I have something in my... No, I don't. Okay. Anyways. So there we go. There's uh, there's Rasimir. Um, so that's the other thing I've been meaning to do. Um, let's see. We wanted I wanted to hunt the moose and the wisent. I wanted to recruit a whole bunch of people. We're going to do lighting. Um, I just want to pay taxes first. And we're, in order to pay taxes, well, we're going to have to come up with a method of coming up with a bit of money, I think. So we're gonna we're gonna figure that out. Um, right now, the uh, management. Let's see. Our taxes are six hundred and thirty nine, and we currently have, uh, what is it, nine hundred and ninety. We're not in trouble, but I just I'd like to get the taxes out of the way before we do anything else. Okay. So that's the the taxes. Um, I could always make more stone arrows. Those things are really cheap and easy to make. Not the copper arrows. The copper arrows do probably bring in a good amount of money. Um, the copper knife and everything. But right now, copper is too precious. Um, yeah, they're nine, nine each. I'd rather just sell the other stone arrows. Okay, so that's that. A wash basin, the, the, uh, the rot tub. <laughs> it's not a hot tub. It's a rot tub. And the peaky, that's what I want to do. And in the next one, we're going to do uh, kitchen geese, and then we're going to go into sp uh, into spring, and it's just going to turn into a madhouse because there's so much cooking that's going to, uh, not cooking, uh, farming that needs to be done. Hey, pig. How you doing? <laughs> How you doing there? Hi. Hi. <laughs> How's it going? Baldwina! Baldwina! Hey! Hey, 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 hey! You do, you're doing an amazing job, Baldwina. Thank you very much. You, you've got a lot of responsibility, and I do appreciate it. All right. On that note, thank you very much, everyone. Until next time, you all have yourselves a great day. Bye-bye. See, the, pig, the pig's looking at you. <laughs> all right. Bye-bye.